When it comes to using Google Ads exact match keywords, there are a few things that you'll want to keep in mind when implementing these match types, which if you're really familiar with keywords, this will all make sense. But most people are either not familiar with the keywords or things have changed, you know, Google changed the way they do match types recently, like within the last year or two. And so all this stuff has also changed. So this would be a good refresher if you're trying to get up to speed on what's changed as well. But when you're running a traditional Google Ads search campaign, which is what we have selected here right now, uh, you can see from the campaigns on the left side, we have selected a campaign. You actually select it up here. And then under the audience keywords and content, we have search keywords selected, which is showing us all the keywords in this campaign. And then right here, we can also filter not filter but sort by match type so these two are broad match we have got some phrase match here and then some exact match and the first thing you'll probably notice is the brackets around these keywords here which actually indicates that they are exact match keywords and then these ones have parentheses around them those indicate that they are phrase match keywords and this is actually an old way of doing the broad match modifier uh, but you just add a plus sign in between them. That's not really used anymore. So now you, this is just considered broad match. This used to be kind of like phrase match, but not anymore. So really, what's the difference between all of these in the first place? And why would we want to use different match types to begin with? Well, there's a pretty helpful little document on the Google Ads help website that kind of breaks this down between broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Now, Back in the day, when you were running exact match, it basically used to mean that if you put in furniture store, then your ads would only show up when somebody searched for furniture store. That's changed within the last year or two. Now keywords are intent based. So you can see here, your ads may show on searches that are the same meaning as your keyword. So furniture store has the same meaning as home furnishing shop, right? Those are basically synonyms of the same word. So if someone's using different words, but trying to find the exact same thing or the search has the same meaning, then your exact match phrase keyword will will cause your ads to show up when any of those terms are searched in Google Ads, right? And exact match is typically what we'll start out with, maybe some phrase match. But if you go through and you find all the keywords that you want to advertise for, like furniture store, home furnishing shop, you put those all in and as exact match keywords, it's going to fire your ads when somebody searches for those keywords and anything similar with the same intent, which ultimately should get you the right types of visitors. However, there are some situations where there's lots of variations of keywords, like you know, this starts to expand out to cheap furnish, furniture stores, living room, furniture deals. So if you want to target people looking for furniture stores and stuff closely related to that, that's when you would start using the phrase match. So if we come back here, you can see that we have um, like Phoenix closets as exact match. We also has have Phoenix closets as phrase match in here. We actually have it as broad match as well. So you can use different match types within the same ad group or campaign. And then you can just check and see which one's performing the best. So here's the Phoenix Closets keyword as exact match. Here's the Phoenix Closet as phrase match. And you can see we got nothing from the exact match. Probably because there's just not enough people searching for terms that are closely related to this. But if we expand it out to phrase match, now it's going to broaden the, the uh, targeting a bit. And that's going to allow the ads to fire, you know, actually get us some clicks. It got 23 clicks here, which led to two conversions at $80 per conversion. And this is for like home remodeling stuff. So, you know, these are pretty high end leads that are going to be paying five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, you know. So part of it is really just testing. Right, You can take some keywords, put them in as exact match, put them in also as phrase match into the same ad group and campaign and everything. 
and then let them run for a while and then you can slowly start to see what's actually performing the best and then you can turn off the ones that are not performing the best so we could come here and pause this keyword because it's not really doing anything whereas the phrase match is doing quite well on the flip side if we take a look at the broad match that one's actually doing the best so this one got 23 conversions. It didn't have the best conversion rate, but because it's broad match, it's going to allow our ads to show up for a lot, a lot more terms that people are searching for. It's going to have much, a much broader intent behind it, right? So that's sort of the, the way uh, match types work in a general sense. Um, and like I was saying before, the biggest thing is to just test it out and figure out what works best. Um, sometimes, you know, you can, you can experiment with putting a bunch of phrase match terms in one ad group, put a bunch of, or excuse me, exact match terms in one ad group, phrase match terms in another ad group, broad match in another ad group. And then you can also see which ad group is performing best. That'll kind of help you determine where to go from there. So I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads, exact match keywords, or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.